Hi guys, how's it going? So today we're talking about the top 20 most recommended VR games that you can use with your HP Reverb G2 or another PC VR headset during the Christmas and also the New Year season. Let's go! Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Welcome to VR Essentials if you're new to the platform. Very nice to meet you. We talk about VR educational entertainment and the practical uses of virtual reality. And a big welcome back of course to all our regular subscribers. Always nice to have you among us. I just want to give a quick shout out also to those who made a purchase very recently in our merch store. Thank you so much. Remember to send us an email with a picture when you receive the item so we can give you a shout out on the channel. I don't know about you, but I am quite excited about Christmas, which is going to be happening very soon, despite what kind of times that we're in this year. And of course, what better than using virtual reality to entertain the family, just forget about all our problems for a few days and just have some fun. Now today we're going to be focusing mainly on VR experiences that really get as many people involved at the same time who are not also wearing a VR headset. So this video will be very useful to you, especially if you have one VR headset per household. And of course, if you have other suggestions or one of your favorite VR titles may not have made the list, then do leave a comment below so we can make a follow-up video. Now starting off the list is Ekron, Attack of the Squirrels. What's great about this VR title is you can play with up to eight people whilst you have one person in VR standing his turf defending in the air corners as the tree. You have all the other players playing with the mobile phone or tablet who try to gang up together to steal all the air corners from the person who's guarding the tree. Keep talking and nobody explodes is next on the list. A classic rendition and a favorite by many people. You have one person in a VR headset who's standing inside of a room with a bomb and then you have X amount of minutes to be able to defuse it. And then you need the help of all the others who can't see what you see, although you could cast it on a screen and you have to give them clues as to what you see so they can help you to defuse the bomb. Or why not beam up onto the Enterprise with you and your family as you become Jean-Luc Picard, building your own crew, fighting against the Romulans and exploring the far depths of the galaxy. By the way, remember to join the notification squad by enabling the notification bell after you hit subscribe so you never get to miss another video which I upload quite frequently to the channel. Now, in general, puzzle games are going to be the most fun to play with you and your family. So let's start off with one which is really good fun, but super hard, which is called I Expect You to Die. In I Expect You to Die, you become a double agent where you're sent on various different missions in order to solve really complicated puzzles. Or if you're into something that's a bit more futuristic, then definitely turn to The Form or The Twilight Path. Both these titles are created by the same games company and promise hours of gameplay. And believe me, they're real brain teasers. Another great way to spend time with friends and family during Christmas using virtual reality is why not go on tours and explore around the Earth. Google Earth, which is downloadable for free, by the way, is one of the best apps you could possibly use in virtual reality in order to do exactly just that. One of the good fun things to do is to go and explore what's around the Earth so that potentially you could go and actually visit these places once everything becomes no more again. Another good fun thing to do with Google Earth is to go back in time and reminisce on the places you perhaps have traveled to or that your grandparents are from or that your parents are from. That's always good fun to do too. Or you could choose to blast into space with Titans of Space Plus. Titans of Space Plus is a really good fun title that's actually very well done. When you actually have your VR headset on, you really feel like you're on a spaceship traveling through the universe. Not only can you simulate what it is like to travel in space, but it's also good fun educational content for everyone as you get to learn what's in space and what are the various different planets and all these kind of things. Another good fun game, of course, are drawing games. For example, you could play Pictionary using another app called Tilt Brush. A great fun Christmas game. You could have one person in virtual reality whilst basically everyone else can look either on the screen or you could cast potentially on a TV. Tilt Brush is a classic VR experience which is extremely well made and very simple to learn. Not only could it be used potentially to do things like, of course, Pictionary as I just mentioned, but also just some fun activities for everyone just to draw around, muck around and just have some easy fun. Puppet Fever is another really good fun app for the family during Christmas. Puppet Fever is good fun because it involves all the family. So whilst you have one person in virtual reality who can basically choose a variety of different characters in different scenes, you all get to create those scenes and then the person in VR gets to puppet them for everyone else to basically watch the show. There's a number of different ways you can use Puppet Fever to have good fun amongst the family during Christmas. One of which could be, for example, trying to create some stories where everyone else has to basically try to guess what the story is about or what the character is trying to do and all these various different things. 
By the way, do go and check out other videos which I posted quite recently to the channel, including the best prescription lenses for the Valve Index, the latest in-store update for the HP Reverb G2, and also everything you need to know about the latest AR and VR Apple headset which is set to be released pretty soon. Other apps which are quite easy and fun for the family to play together during Christmas includes Gadgeteer. In Gadgeteer you get to solve multiple different puzzles and also create your own which you can share with others. So again you can have one person who's in VR and then the other people around helping one another as to what kind of things to do and how to solve the puzzles together. And if you're into Gadgeteer, you may also like the rolling line. The rolling line can be really fun, for example, if you have someone who perhaps is a bit younger or who is into trains where basically you're set within specific different landscapes and you get to actually create your own train line. However, if you really want to become the life of the party, then another app that might be good for you is Tribe XR. By the way, did you know that you can help the VR community grow by wearing the hottest merch in VR today? Simply go to the link description below the like button, which will redirect you to our official VR Essentials merch store. There is, if you're watching before December 24th, a 20% discount on all the items by using the promo code, which is also in the description below the like button. Tribe XR is an amazing app for those who want to give life to the party during Christmas and be the DJ. Tribe XR enables you to upload all your favorite tunes and basically start mucking around straight away. It's really easy and intuitive to use the various different consoles. And also, if you don't really know how to DJ, there is a tutorial there, so very easy going. And then whilst you're basically playing, everyone else around can dance and have fun and then just lose themselves in your tunes. Tribe XR also enables you to meet tons of other DJs. So perhaps what you can do is enter one of the rooms, blast your speakers to the maximum, and then everyone can dance around to the tunes of your favorite DJ in Tribe XR. Now, if you want to provide your family a little bit more scare during Christmas, then there are certain VR titles that you know we can recommend. But do know that if no one's been in VR before, it's generally not advisable to have them spend a horror kind of experience in virtual reality as the first time. There are four different titles that we recommend. Phasmobia apparently does give some chills where basically you go into a certain room and you have to go and search for paranormal activity. Whilst in Freedivers, you get to solve clues whilst you're in the depths of the ocean. The Forest, which equally provides chilling thrills, you play as a character called Eric Leblanc, where you're basically going to be searching for your son called Timmy. And by doing so, you have to solve basically different puzzles and different things and go and search on clues, build things and all these kind of things. And then most importantly, survive. But if you prefer the zombie world, then there's always the Walking Dead Saint Sinners, which equally provides a lot of nightmarish kind of situations. And you have to not only just kill zombies, but also solve specific clues as part of the storyline. But again, you could be, you could have one person in virtual reality whilst everyone else is sitting around watching on the screen and then all together help one another. If however horror is really not your thing, then of course we can suggest some very light kind of fun play, which equally provides some adventure and also solving clues kind of stuff. Down the Rabbit Hole is one of those really cool fun experiences. Down the Rabbit Hole is a VR adventure that takes place in Wonderland prior to Alice's arrival. You will discover a girl in search of her lost pet called Patches that has wandered into Wonderland. You basically control the girl's fate by plotting her journey through an immersive diorama that wraps around you. The game promises quite a number of hours and it's really good fun. All the graphics are really nice and neat. And I have to say that the music and the sound effects are top notch. There are two other VR experiences which you may want to try in the same kind of genre. One is called A Fishman's Tale and the other one is called A Curious Tale of the Stolen Pets, which is basically made by the same games company. Both of these VR titles are good fun for the family during Christmas because they're very stylistic. The graphics are extremely friendly. It's very easy to learn how to use it. It's just good fun whilst you have one person in the VR headset. You could always pass that VR headset to someone else whilst all the others can help one another whilst they watch the gameplay on a screen. And then finally, we have two more VR experiences which are really good fun for the family during Christmas. Tower Tag is a really good fun experience where you get to shoot your opponents as you travel around and maneuver the terrain. The great thing about playing shooters with the family during Christmas is that you can all help one another by directing and telling the person in VR where the enemies are, so you've got a higher chance of winning the actual gameplay. 
and then finally Panoptic which seems to be a very interesting VR title. Panoptic is also a multiplayer kind of experience where basically everyone gets to look the same inside of the game and then you have to play a kind of hide and seek kind of gameplay. So this really offers quite an interesting kind of spin on things because there aren't many other VR experiences, if any, that are similar to it. And just a reminder that you can go and check out other cool videos which are uploaded quite recently, including the best prescription lenses for the Valve Index, as well as the latest software update for the HP Reverb G2. And of course, the latest that we know about the AR and VR headset, which is set to be released by Apple next year or the year after that.